I have no more questions. Ryan. So they're both lying. Yes. Neither of them are correct when they said that you were at the house on October 1st. They're not correct. They're both making it up that they saw you come to the house to take your things out. I don't know who's making it up. They both said that, didn't they? Yes, they said that. So if it's not true, then they're both lying. Yes. But you raised them to tell the truth to the police, didn't you? Yes. One of them is a police officer. Yes. So your testimony today is that your son, who's a Camden County detective, is lying on the stand. Yes. Okay. And your belief is that they're lying because they're siding with their mother. Yeah, that's part of the belief, yes. Their mother who has absolutely no interest in this case. She does have interest. She didn't call the police, did she? She filed a restraining Objection, order. Objection, speculation. No. What's, he doesn't know what she did or didn't do. That's speculation. Well, he's asked, he's asked, she's asked him, did she call the police? Right. And how would he know if she called the police? That's his speculation. His answer would be, I don't know. I don't know. Mr. Reed, you went to the police department on your, of your own volition on November 14th, 2018, right? Yeah. No one told you you had to come. Well, that's... You went on your own. The same. You weren't brought to the police department. No, I went on my own. Yes, okay. You on weren't arrested own. and brought to the police department, and that's how this whole thing happened. No. Okay. So, your wife, as far as you know, never called the police that day. I don't know. You said when you got, when you drove up to the house, she's in the driveway, correct? Yes. Okay. She was just standing there. No, she wasn't standing there. I couldn't exactly tell what she was doing, but she was putting or removing stuff from her vehicle. Okay. That's what she was doing. I do want to just clarify the record. My recollection is the Jewish recollection patrol that upon questioning by the wife, the wife of the Seymour, upon questioning by the Ms. Kelly Gorman, why didn't you call the police? She said she didn't think to do that. Mr. Reed, you, you were not taken into custody that day before you went out to the house, right? No. You were brought to the house for an escort by the Pembroke Township Police Department. I wasn't brought there. You went to the Pembroke Township Police Department for an escort to your home yes. to get your belongings. Yes. Because of the restraining order. Yes. Okay. So there was no, so far as you know, no one called the police about you being there. You went there willingly. Yes, I went there willingly. Okay. So, but you still believe that this has something to do with your wife? I have many beliefs about this, but beliefs can be changed. Okay. Now, Mr. Reed. This really has to do with you, doesn't it? You're the one at the center of this, aren't you? No, I wouldn't put myself at the center. 
I didn't say you put yourself at the center of this. I said you are at the center of this. Not alone. It's your guns that are missing, aren't they, sir? Yes. You're the one who is accused of not telling the police where your guns are. Isn't that correct? Yes. Correct. You're the one who's saying that both of your sons are lying to the police. Yes. Now, Mr. Reed, you don't dispute that you were served with that restraining order on November 14th, correct? No. Okay. You were told on November 14th you can't have firearms? Yes. You, now I'm going to show you, this is the copy of the, I'm showing you S3 in evidence. This is the restraining order you were served with that day. <laughs> Minus the blacked out box. I'll direct your attention to page 5, it has the date on it.
you scared she'd find out they weren't there? No. Did you have any idea they weren't there? No. That's no more questions. Nothing further. Thank you, Mr. Um, I'm checking to see if this uh, other matter is ready now. Is ready now. Excuse me. Yes. The defense rests. Oh. 